Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Forgotten Vehicles. In this one, we're going to be talking about the Marshal and the Liberator. But before we get into that, let's see uh, what you guys had to say about the previous episode. Because Cole over here thought that the Easter egg was that I was pretending that I have friends when I go into the hot tub. Thank you, Cole. It really helped me uh, with not only giving me a laugh, but also feeling very sad when I went to bed that night. Thank you. Without further ado, though, let's dive into today's episode about the Liberator and the Marshal. The Liberator was first released as part of the Independence Day DLC released in July 1st of 2014. At the time it was a timed exclusive thing that you could get for a period of a month and you could pick it up for $742,000. Obviously if you were to purchase it you can keep it forever. This was the second time that we had a limited time event where you could get a vehicle and then if you were to purchase it you would keep it forever because the first time that was happening was with the Roosevelt in the Valentine's update. And even till this day the Liberator is one of three monster trucks available within the game. Now, obviously, the Sasquatch I've already covered before, so I won't do that again. And the Marshall is something that some might argue is not extremely forgotten, but mainly because they probably do, you know, bunker sale missions, and it is one of those things that happens in there. However, I do want to cover it because it is a unique vehicle, and I think it's worth, a, you know, quote unquote, a going down memory lane with, if you will. The Liberator itself, though, was something that you couldn't customize you could just simply call in through pegasus and that was kind of it nowadays of course you have a wide variety of all sorts of crazy vehicles that you can just bring it to los santos customs and it's fine the more recent example being an f1 car but even then back in the day the liberator is still amongst one of the most fun vehicles that you can actually use within the game sure because guess what it's a monster truck, you can just go over anything and you'll be completely fine. There was even a special race made for the Liberator back in the day, but I think ever since then they did change it to allow other off-road vehicles too. Because yes, back then they would make specific races for specific released cars, which made it all so much more special and also very cool. And then later down the line they would release the Marshall as part of a returning player kind of incentive. If you were a returning player, the Marshall was going to be completely free for you but if, if you were just getting into gta 5 for the first time then you would have to cough up half a million dollars now the interesting thing about the marshall is that while it's basically the same vehicle as the liberator it had a wide variety of different liveries available to it there was a total of 25 liveries that you could get in order to uh, make your car look a little bit more fancy but as fun and as unique as the liberator is it doesn't really get an awful lot of love anymore these days it's one of those more unique vehicles that you probably owned back in the day and don't really think about it anymore obviously the marshal was being utilized for sail missions in the bunker and the sasquatch you could still use if you were to go around free run for some additional fun or just simply use it in arena war if someone even plays that but overall i feel that the liberator especially is one of those vehicles that will always go down in history as something that is a very unique and cool vehicle but didn't really get a lot of love i feel maybe with some custom jobs or something it could definitely have shine but i feel that with vehicles like this either you use them nothing but in free roam or you just have some kind of cool uh, game mode attached to them like you have for example with the ec classic where you have ec classic races as well as it being able to be used within its own game mode which is the Vespucci job so in that regard rockstar does know how to give certain vehicles a bit of a shining light but i feel that something as unique as the liberator could have definitely used some more love but unfortunately that never came to be then again it was released in 2014 and they were still going through the period of here's some cars here's some weapons go and enjoy but that doesn't mean though that the liberator still isn't a very fun vehicle to use till this day and of course i'd love to know what you think in the comments down below but that was it for this one thank you also very much for watching leave a like if you enjoyed subscribe for more and i'll see you all later